Hi guys, this is Ray Snow. This time I will explain how to put your application in the system tray here. So usually when you close your app, it just disappears. But you can also you know, keep your app in this system tray. So whenever you want to continue to use your app, then you can just resume from here. I think it's a pretty convenient so you can minimize your app like this but it's still you know it stays in this taskbar sometimes I feel a bit annoying you know maybe I will use this later but uh, I don't want to see it for now something like that so in the case I think it's a good idea to put this in this system tray so you know visually it disappears but uh, you can still use it anytime yeah so that's what we're gonna do this time so let's make a program so yeah this is the sample program i created so this is a window 400 400 window and then i added this j button on this window and uh, it has an action listener so when you click this button then the counter increases this number increases so that's everything for our purpose this is not necessary but uh, i added this so I can show you, you know, you can retain kind of uh, the data even after you put this in the system tray. So yeah, let's start. Uh, after this, first we're going to create an if statement and uh, system tray that is supported and true. This is just a checking. So this basically means, you know, we ask our computer if it supports the system tray. So if system tray is supported, window dot set default close operation, and usually we type like, you know, j j frame exit on close. But uh, this time we type window constant dot hide on close so not exit but hide then uh, we're gonna initialize system tray class system tray equal system tray dot get system tray okay and also we can choose an icon to display in the system tray so like this so uh, tray icon tray icon equal new tray icon toolkit get default toolkit dot get image and here so okay I have created this resource folder and put this image it's very small link image so we're gonna use this get class and get resource and type image name here link.png And then we're gonna instantiate this pop-up menu. Uh, pop menu. New pop-up menu. Also create a menu item. Two menu items. And the first one, I'm gonna name this show new menu item show and we're gonna add action listener to this menu item action listener new action listener and uh, Action performed window that set visible true 
and uh, we're gonna create another menu item menu item exit oops exit call new menu item exit why i type exist exit uh, exit action listener unimplemented and for this one system dot exit exit hmm. so we're gonna terminate the program so these two menus will show up so when you click the icon in the system tray so we prepare two options show the application and also exit the application then uh, we're gonna add these two items to this uh, pop menu. Uh, show pop. also exit. Then we're gonna set this pop menu on this tray icon. So tray icon dot set pop up menu and uh, pop menu and finally we're gonna add this tray icon to this system tray so system tray dot add tray icon and this needs to be surrounded by tray and catch so let's do that okay uh, i think that's everything so let's okay let's finish this and let's run this program okay and so as you can see so you can see this link image here yep and also you can if you right click on this this menu shows up and they okay so let's um press this x button so it disappears but the icon is still here and if you click this show then uh, it it appears okay so let's increase some counters so counter is 16 now and uh, let's show this again and uh, so it retains the data and uh, if you want to close the application then uh, you can choose this exit then uh, it's gone yeah so that's everything so that's how you put your program in the system tray so i hope this was useful for you and thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day bye